Dr. Paloff, it is Chief of Infectious Diseases at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. He is also author of the book, Autism's False Prophets. Good morning, Dr. Offit. Good morning. You've been a longtime proponent of vaccines, maintained that they do not cause autism for a long time. Do you believe this reversal by The Lancet will finally put an end to that debate? Well, I hope so. I mean, it's certainly a long time in coming. Uh, the paper obviously was, was critically flawed. It, it should have never been published. And, and science uh, done since then has clearly shown that, that the MMR vaccine didn't cause autism. The problem was is it started a firestorm. Hundreds of children in the United Kingdom and Ireland were hospitalized. Four children were killed by measles virus, a virus could have been, that could have been safely and easily prevented by vaccinations. This retraction will not uh, give those children their lives back, but hopefully it'll, it'll save other children children from succumbing to this uh, completely preventable infection. You've gone as far as saying, Dr. Offit, that the editors of The Lancet should be held responsible for the deaths of those children that weren't vaccinated? Well, I think there are a lot of people who, who should be held responsible here. Obviously, the, those who, who, uh, who the authors of the paper um, were shown by the General Medical Council to have acted un unethically, and, and, and the journal uh, withdrew the paper in part because they felt that the data had been falsified or misrepresented. I think that the editor should be held accountable. Four, four of the six people who reviewed that paper recommended that it be rejected yet still it was published. I think the media, you jumped on this paper as if it was fact when I think, you know, you could argue, I think as Carl Sagan has, that ex extraordinary claims should be backed by extraordinary evidence. This was an extraordinary claim that was backed by virtually no evidence and obviously has never been reproduced. Well, but it, it's hard to argue with parents who are so convinced that their child took a dramatic turn after receiving the vaccine and they are absolutely convinced, no matter what The Lancet says now, that a vaccine caused their child's autism. What do you say to them? Yeah, I, I think I can certainly understand where they're coming from. Their child was fine, they got a vaccine, and then they weren't fine anymore. Could the vaccine have caused it? That, that's a question that fortunately can be addressed in a scientific venue. Mm. You know, you look at hundreds of thousands of children that did or didn't receive MMR vaccine to see whether the instance of autism was greater in the vaccinated group, and it wasn't. You know, I, the story that I tell, because it's a, it's a, it's a good one, you know, my wife's in private practice pediatrics. She came into her office one day. She was pulling up uh, into a syringe a vaccine. A four-month-old was sitting on her mother's lap uh, uh, at waiting for the, for the vaccine, and the child had a seizure. She had a seizure while my wife was pulling that vaccine up into a syringe. If that vaccine had given, been given five minutes earlier, I think there's no amount of statistical data in the world that would have convinced that mother otherwise. And it's understandable. But, uh, but these are scientific questions that can be answered. They have been answered. I, I would only plea with parents you know, to believe the science that clearly has exonerated vaccines here. All right, Dr. Paul Offit, thank you so much. Th thank you. And you can read more about this study on our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.